exercise can be a powerful tool for mental well-being but when it comes to a crutch to avoid dealing with emotion is emotional issues it can actually be more harm than good okay so the parallel between exercise and substance abuse okay let's think about it. So have you ever noticed some people turn to exercise the same way others turn to alcohol, drugs, and even food? That's a way to escape, to avoid facing deeper emotion and pain. But is it really healthy or is it just another form of masking the problem? Okay. I help busy women simplify fitness and nutrition, but today I want to touch on something deeper. The relationship between emotional health and exercise. Exercise can be a powerful tool for mental well-being, but when it comes to a crutch, to avoid dealing with emotional issues, it can actually be more harm than good, okay? So the parallel between exercise and substance abuse, okay? Let's think about this. When someone feels overwhelmed or emotionally broken, they might turn to alcohol or drugs to numb the pain. Exercise can be healthier outlet, but when, it, when it's used excessively to avoid addressing the root issues, like depression, anxiety, trauma, it serves the same purpose as substance abuse, masking the pain instead of healing it. For example, someone might might hit the gym for hours every day, convincing themselves they're being healthy, but really they're just running literally and figuratively away from their emotions, okay? The warning signs of masking with exercise. Here's how you can recognize if exercise is being used as a mask, okay? You feel guilty or anxious if you miss a workout almost like withdrawal. You prioritize exercise over relationships, rest, or responsibilities. You use exercise to fix emotional pain instead of addressing the root cause through therapy or reflection. These patterns are similar to how someone might use a bottle of wine or binge eating to cope with their emotions. It's the, not the activity itself, but it's how it's being used. All right, the need for balance and true healing. Okay, the key to balance, exercise can absolutely help re release endorphins, reduce stress, and improve mental health, but it can't replace working through deeper issues. Therapy, journaling, or even talking to someone you trust are ways to address the emotional wound that no amount of exercise or substance can heal, okay? Think of exercise as part of the solution, not the whole solution. It's okay to feel pain and work through it rather than burying it underneath the layer of sweat and reps. If this resonates with you, take a step back and ask yourself, am I using exercise to heal or hide? There's no shame in reaching out for help, whether it's a therapist or a trusted friend or a coach who understands the importance of both physical and mental health. If you want to talk more about this, feel free to reach out to me directly, okay, and book a consultation. You can definitely be over the phone. It doesn't have to be in person, and we don't have to take it, for, we don't have to go further after that, you know, but sometimes it's just a good talking to someone to talk to, someone from the outside can actually help, and I definitely wouldn't mind helping anybody. Okay, like I said, I really think it's important to you work your body well, but you also want to work on your mental side too as well. Okay, and my example for my client I was talking to earlier today was is that you see somebody in the gym and him or her, they look fantastic. They look, oh my God, they have the six pack, they have the big pecs, they have the, the shoulders, they have everything, but inside. They're one of the most weakest people you ever meet. The moment you say something, not even about their body, but just about their character, about anything, and they will crumble, okay? There's a picture of a bodybuilder I've seen many, many times. You see a picture of a guy, it's a cartoon or whatever, but you see a picture of a bodybuilder and he's like in the mirror with his head down. But in the mirror, the reflection is of someone that is small and someone that's weak. And that's the thing when people say, oh, I'm too scared to go to the gym. I'm intimidated. I'm this, I'm that. I will bet, I don't really know. There's probably definitely a survey out there. But I'll probably say, if I had to throw a number out there, I'd probably say 75% of the people that go to the gym most likely have something they're trying to mask, some issue they're trying to mask. Okay, whatever it may be, it could be relationship, could be because of work or whatever. And I get that. But I... I see it. I mean, in this, we, we talked about alcohol. We talked about um, drug. We talked about food. And, and we just talk, of course, exercise. This topic right now is about ex exercise. But also, people could do it with work. I've done it with work. I've, you know, had a broken heart and I felt like crap, or whatever. And what did I do? I dove right into work. I became one of the most successful trainers in 24 hour fitness, but I dove into work, didn't care about anything else, and I dove into work. 
to mask my pain, mask everything. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't until, well, my wife now and therapy when everything changed. And I told I told I told you guys this many times before, like I would every Friday, nonstop. If if it's not at I'm driving to my now wife's house or apartment, or after I finish eating some, eating her food, whatever she made for me, my eyes will water or I will get emotional, I will cry because of all that i mean i'm dealing with clients issues then i'm also masking my issues with work or whatever and it always comes out every friday every friday i mean it hasn't happened in years but yeah everyone does something to mask the pain it could be alcohol it could be drugs god forbid i mean alcohol god forbid too could be exercise could be work and it could be food i think that was a five that has to be probably probably more i don't know But this is what happens. And this, we all have it. If you take a step back and look at your life and look at your daily life and just think, you know, do you do something like that? Think about it. Comment. I mean, no, no, I'm going to say comment below. But if you want to share, go right ahead. But it's it's something that, you know, um, we all do. It, just in different forms we mask our pain i mean i don't i honestly since therapy i don't do it anymore i'm not lying i'm not trying to you know i don't i'm not a therapist so you know i'm not trying to you know it's not a me trying to get business or whatever but i'm being honest therapy has helped me so much it has helped me so so much all righty so let me say okay kim it's all it's all the same behavior overeating over shop oh shopping too that's another one I mean, I can't do all that. That's for rich people, you know what I'm saying? But drug use, yeah, alcohol abuse, over-exercising, all masks. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. But it's like, it's it just going to take, you're just going to have to take it, like I said, take a step back and evaluate yourself. And you know what? Do I have a problem? Is there something wrong with me? Because all of us sometimes, we either don't have, you don't make time to actually take a time to actually look at it, the situation. And, you know, also we say, oh, I'm fine. Oh, I'm fine. And then eventually creeps up on you. It creeps up on you and then like, what the hell? What's wrong with me? Why can't I? Why do I get, why do I shake when I drive on the highway now? I'm 60 something years old. I've been driving for the year, for many, many times, many, many years. Why now I'm 60 years old and I, I can't drive on the highway or I can't do this or I'm afraid to do that. It creeps up on you. It gets you, you know? So you have to handle it. You have to do a better job handling it. You know what I'm saying? It's all, remember health isn't just about the body. It's about the mind too. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope this gave you some food for thought, okay? Don't forget to catch the replay if you missed anything, and I'll see you uh, next time, guys. Have a good one. Are you ready to transform your health and wellness journey? At Kadapa Strength, I'm committed to helping you achieve your goals through my three pillars for results. First, I educate, equipping you with essential knowledge to understand your body and its needs. Then I execute a tailored plan, ensuring every step is personalized to your unique lifestyle. Finally, I encourage, providing accountability and support every step of the way. Get ready to unlock your full potential and thrive in every aspect of your life. Visit me today and let's embark on this journey together. Check me out at Kandapa Strength.